Hello there everybody and welcome back to another video and in this one we're going to be doing sort of monologue style video. I want to talk about the current rank system in Siege, what's wrong with it and what needs to be fixed heading into ranked 2.0. Now the new rank system has been delayed to the final season of this year. There's a whole bunch of changes. This video isn't going to focus in necessarily on what those are. Probably leave that for another date. This is sort of just my wish list for changes that I hope will come in the future, maybe even alongside the launch of Ranked 2.0. I think the changes that have been announced are a really good step in the right direction, and I hope that the devs continue to build upon the platform that I think they've now established. The first change, and this is probably the nerdiest one, but for me, it's probably the biggest one that I really, really want to see change going forward, and I expect it probably will be, but I don't know for sure. And that is removing the certainty factor of your rank. Now, for those of you who are scratching your heads thinking, what is that? Well, in Siege, you have your ELO ranking or your MMR ranking. And you also have a certainty factor, a plus minus value that basically determines how much or how little you're going to gain or lose. And that number decreases the more games you play. That's why, for instance, in the first couple of games of the season or at least when you can see the number um, once you're ranked you can gain like 100 plus a game or lose 100 plus elo a game and that will trickle down at, to the point where you play i don't know about 75 games or so that's when you start winning and get 25 points minimum 25 points minimum you might be able to sneak a 30 or a 40 here or there against a, a much stronger stack but generally speaking the more you play the less elo you gain or lose now in theory that's great because it puts players where they should be and keeps them there. But the side effect of that is it gets so unrewarding after the first 50, 75 games to continue playing. There is no incentive to keep grinding the game outside of the social aspect, at least for me personally. I'm sure many other people feel the same because they either just move on to something else, they start smurfing, whatever the case may be, just to try and keep the experience engaging and interesting. Otherwise, it's just play the same rank in and out every single season. It stagnates. It can get boring. Now, in rank 2.0, it is announced that you are starting. Everyone starts at zero. You all start at the very bottom um, and you need to build your way up, much like how the Apex rank system works. And I think that that's a great step in the right direction. Will it work with certainty still in the game though? I don't know. Probably not because if everyone keeps stagnating out at the same ranks, it kind of removes that incentive to keep grinding which is the whole point of the rework system so i would assume that it's getting removed going forward or getting adjusted somewhat and i really hope so because the rank system should reward players that keep playing it shouldn't necessarily mean that the more you play the higher your rank is it doesn't directly it shouldn't directly correlate in that sense but you should be given an opportunity to continually rank up if you continue to play um and it shouldn't just come down to a 25 point ranked grind um once you play that sort of 50, 75 game threshold, because then it just gets frustrating. And you can put in as many cosmetic incentives as you want. Um, you can reduce the gap in the ranks all you want. It's not going to fool many players, in my opinion. So certainty needs to go or it needs to be adjusted because it is the number one thing that really, really irks me about how the rank system works at the moment. Now for number two. And... I think this is one that really, really needs to be changed as well. And that is remove the 1000 MMR cap when you are queuing in a five stack. Counter-Strike is the best example of this. You can queue five players of any rank together and the matchmaking will prioritize matching you against a team of a similar skill level based on the top skill player on your team. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, this was basically all but confirmed to be added to the new system on one of the Reddit AMAs. But I really just want to reiterate it as something that's super important and something that, again, if it is going to be changed, needs to be implemented properly so that we don't revert back to the ranked beta days, for example, that was a long time ago, where it was very easy to boost, very easy to smurf. And if this is going to be changed, it needs to be done right. So it won't be like the old days where you could boost a champion or, or I guess a diamond back in the day with four coppers or whatever the case was. 
and get them ranked up because it would be queuing based on the highest rank. And there's obviously been countermeasures and other stuff against Smurfs anyway. But this needs to be added. The 1000 MMR cap just, it, it's frustrating to deal with. It increases smurfing. It makes for more unbalanced matchmaking. It's just a negative feedback loop and it's a band-aid fix for something that doesn't need to be there. Just adjust the matchmaking parameters, please, and allow five stacks to queue together regardless of the rank. I understand that there'll be concerns of boosting, but I think if you put the proper safeguards in place and the proper parameters for searching, I don't think it's going to be as much of an issue as it probably would have been in the past. Now, for the final thing that I think needs to be added to ranked, and this is for those who perhaps can't play in a five stack, and that is the option after a game to flag a teammate as avoid this player. I know Overwatch is a good example of a platform you can do it on. I think you can do it on Face It CS matchmaking as well. Avoiding a teammate is a really, really great way to avoid toxic players in the game. There's a bunch of different parameters you can set on it. There's various different versions of how it's implemented. It can be like a 30 day cooldown. It can be a 14 day cooldown. You can only get a certain amount per that period to actually flag players. There's a whole bunch of restrictions. You won't be able to just abuse it so you don't verse good players. There would be safeguards in place to prevent it from being easily exploited. The concern would also be that perhaps on unpopulated servers, it would be tricky to implement it. And to that, I would say, well, matchmaking just needs to prioritize it. And in the case that it can't find a suitable matchup, well, then you are going to be matched with or against them. I think this would actually be a nice addition to the reputation um, system, which is slowly being rolled out. Just the ability, for instance, to, let's say, avoid, I don't know, three teammates in a month. It doesn't even need to be that extreme. could be more. I don't know what the numbers would look like. But we've all had that experience where we're not in a five stack and we just get a teammate who's like trolling or griefing or is just straight up awful to play with. And you can block them, you can report them, but you can't prevent yourself from being stuck in another game with them. So I think that would be a really nice addition for those of us who can't five stack at the time. Alrighty, that will conclude the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you think should be added alongside Ranked 2.0. I am genuinely really excited for the final season of the year. I think there's great potential for Ranked to be rejuvenated a little bit. And I hope that uh, a couple of my changes will perhaps be in the game one day. Who knows? Of course, though, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.